Hello there, and welcome back. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to find the equation of a parabola that has a focus at 2, 1, and its directrix at x equals negative 8. So before we start to try to write the equation, let's just try to get a visual. So we have our xy plane here. The directrix is x equals negative 8, which I'm going to place all the way over here. And we have a focus located at 2, 1. So in taking a look at that, I know that the vertex is halfway between the directrix and the point 2, 1 along the line y equals 1. So, I know that I need to, in order to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, anyway, I already know that the y-coordinate is 1. To find the x-coordinate, I need to find the x-value that is halfway between negative 8 and 2. So, negative 8 plus 2, all divided by 2, is negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. So, that means that our vertex is at negative 3, comma, 1. And because of the way the directrix is positioned relative to the vertex and the focus, I know that my parabola is going to open to the right. Okay, so now let's take our standard form and try to fill in the details. So since this is a horizontally opening parabola, we know it's going to have the standard form y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. And we know from our picture, we just found the coordinates of the vertex. We know that the coordinates are negative 3, 1. So that means we have y minus 1 squared equals 4 times something times x minus negative 3. Now remember, p is the distance between, it's the absolute, or it's the displacement from either the vertex and the focus or the vertex and the directrix. The vertex and the focus are five units apart, and it's the focus is on the right of the vertex, which means that p must be equal to five. So we'll substitute that in there, and now we'll just simplify what we can. y minus one squared equals four times five is 20, and x minus negative three is written as x plus three. And that is, as far as we'll go, to write the equation of our parabola.